Springdale 303BH at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And you'll find uh, a lot of versions of this floor plan everywhere, but a lot of people don't realize it was Springdale who was the first to build this floor plan. Everyone else has kind of uh, copied their uh, coattails here. There's a lot of good reasons to own virtually any travel trailer. And there are more options in the you know family point class here than anything else. So why Springdale versus Brand X? What makes them so attractive? Why are they a top five brand? Um, you know, even at their price point, they continue to deliver cutting edge features. For instance, you see in their awnings, they have speakers built right into the awning arms. That keeps the speakers pointing down at your campsite like you see here. You're not blowing away the guy next door. You're entertaining your family under your awning. Speaking of the awning, you see we have a full LED light strip runs the entire length of the awning. A lot of manufacturers uh, are starting to do LED lights. Very few will do a full length. They have like a standard 12 foot length that they'll put in the middle of the awning and kind of cheat it a little bit. Um, their awning is super easily adjustable. You need some pitch on your awning? There you go. That's all there is to it. It is just that easy to pitch adjust your awning. You can do it to one or both sides and when you're done, it goes back up just as easy. But you notice how it stays there. That's what's cool. You see this TV. This is your living room TV. Now, I, I want to mention some of these things like this indoor-outdoor TV you're seeing, they are um, part of a uh, like option or upgrade bundle that uh, we as a large volume dealership are able to enjoy. These, uh, some of these features aren't available to every dealership. Uh, that means that not every Springdale 303 VH you see uh, will be equipped identically. This is generally how we will equip ours, but sometimes due to uh, you know supplier limitations, one or two options may be uh, you know not present here or there. What I'm getting at is always double check our picture tour and our options list because we take the time to tell you exactly what is built into every single Springdale that we carry. Um, this video is here is stock footage, so if they look different, you now understand why. The 30-pound uh, propane tanks give you more dry camping time than standard 20s, 50% more in fact. Now, things like power awnings, power tongue jacks, they give those away like candy nowadays. But uh, a lot of your bargain brands are using a very low power, uh, weak motor in things like their awnings and their um, power tongue jacks. What that means to you is more time spent setting up your campsite away from your family and it also means less reliability. There's a greater chance with a cheaper camper you're going to spend uh, time at a repair facility getting something like a power awning motor fixed. Because if that motor isn't strong, it has to work twice as hard. And I mean, just common sense says if something has to work harder, it wears out quicker. And we have seen that in our service center. You know, we're a very large dealership who carries a lot of different brands and they're all good for different reasons. But what I like about Springdale most is their reliability. They do so many things from the build level all the way up to make this as reliable as possible, as reliable as anything human made possibly can be. And uh, the, the trick is though, they all look really good. They all look really good on a dealer's site. Uh, you know, this is going to, uh, any RV should last a year or two, no problem. It's after that that you start to really see their true colors fly. Um, I love the enhanced usability features out here. This outdoor kitchen is awesome. You have dad's medicine cabinet up here in the corner. You have big storage in this outside kitchen, but notice all this extra counter space that you have right here and the fact that they even leave you a power outlet. So you can put a small microwave down here. You can uh, put a griddle. You can do anything you want. You still get your cooktop that comes out for you, but notice they have a little extra kitchen countertop section here that telescopes in and out. So you actually have a place to like put your platter. So when you're uh, cooking, you know, it's easy. The second entry door right here, it gives you direct bathroom access. And that might seem really strange to first time campers, but folks who have been camping a long time understand this is a godsend because it's gonna keep the kids from tracking dirt through your camper. And notice too, Porcelain, not plastic. Foot flush, not centrifugal gravity flush. Nicer type stuff in a Springdale. Like an outside uh, shower here. Notice where they put it, right next to the bathroom. So the kids come back from the lake. They've been swimming and mucking God knows what that the turtles left behind. You get to rinse them off. They can take a bath before they go through your camper and stink the whole place up. Nice aluminum wheel package, aluminum underbelly. Um, things you can see other places. But, uh, did I say aluminum underbelly? I meant enclosed if I did. I don't know. I, uh, I'm just kind of on a roll here. But the, uh, you know, enclosed underbelly helps with critter prevention with aerodynamics. It can extend your camping season a little bit into spring and fall. Uh, again, the, uh, the outdoor TV here. If you're over there grilling, 
you're enjoying your outside kitchen or you got your picnic table right here under the awning where it's going to be you don't have to miss a beat you can watch your race you can watch the game you, you never have to give up anything i love this door notice there's no plastic door hold back because those things break they throw a friction hinge door on this thing you, you notice i can slap i can throw this thing and it won't slam shut you can really be friendly with that and it's not going to break the whole point is that this door is not going to swing open and smack the side of your trailer now it's a little windy so this is a, a good time to discuss if you wake up in the middle of the night and the weatherman gets it wrong and uh you know this uh uh storm's coming in you can just push a button and roll the awning up right here you don't even have to come inside you don't even have, or go outside you don't have to put on pants it's quick and easy now um the interior ceiling of a Springdale is domed. It has a barreled headliner. It's the only wood frame aluminum skin trailer I'm aware of that has that feature. Springdales have the longest slide outs in their class. You normally only get either the nice king shaped or the king U dinette or the memory foam hide a bed. A Springdale can give you both. You don't have to choose one or the other. Um, the uh, windows here in your slides, these are jealousy windows, meaning they open out so they have a ledge, so they're rain shielded. You can use them in the rain, and you notice it's a little bit rainy today. Um, the uh, charging center here, awesome for things like cell phones that everybody carries with them nowadays. The uh, um, kitchen over here gives you actually two places to keep a trash can. This big tall drawer over here, you can put one. I have this one open, you can see right here. So you could put one by the door, you could put one in the kitchen. Uh, you could do both, you know, it's totally up to you. The big sink here I really enjoy because you can actually clean big pots and pans. This is a big bunkhouse. If you're going to cook for a lot of people, you got to be able to clean the dishes. Notice that they extend their countertop right here to allow for this big um, four drawer setup. Every drawer is full extension, ball bearing glides. You know, you can actually use these. They're made to perform. I love the extra power outlets. There's one here, one here in the kitchen. Now the one over here is perfect. Leave it right by the door and charge your phones. The one over here is perfect for things like, uh, you know, toasters and blenders and coffee makers and all that extra stuff. The refrigerator is part of the, I think, adventure package. We've got this thing decked out pretty hard. Um, this is a seven cubic foot fridge, not a six. That means it's got 17% more cold storage, more time with your family, less time in the grocery store. A big camper like this, we will almost always, I say almost, always double check, please, that we have a 15,000 BTU air on here, not a 13.5. What that means in English, 50% more cold uh, cooling power, and we have both central air and heat in this floor plan to keep your family comfy. Uh, between the living room and the bunkhouse, we have this extra big cabinet right here, and this is awesome because it's right across from the bathroom. Perfect spot for linens, overflow pantry space, overflow um, bunkhouse storage. It can do anything you need it to. Back here in the bunkhouse, you notice the trend of extra power outlets continues. If you start looking around, you're gonna find a lot of them hidden around. They, oops, camera went a little dark on me there. They accent color this rear wall as opposed to these panels to give it a, a greater sense of depth. They put bigger windows in. Windows are one of the more expensive uh, parts in a, on a per part basis in a camper. Now, if you look at our picture tour, you see that this bunk right here, which has a 300 pound capacity, which is like the most you'll ever find in a travel trailer, lifts up. And you see how quickly and easily that is? They put better grade struts in these so that it lasts longer. This sofa can convert into like a king size bed down here. And you notice that when you're uh, over this way, you have an extra bunk above the outside kitchen. Little storage pocket here. You don't have to throw the kids up. And there's a big spot here for an extra TV if the kids need one. Again, they pretty much cover all the bases here. Um, moving forward, the uh, big slide again gives you all that room here uh, so that if you uh, are cooking you don't have to worry about somebody bumping into you the um where's i getting at oh by the way this is called the morel color scheme but again if your pictures look different the pictures are generally uh accurate so your center entertainment system here uh gives mom and dad their own little privacy of uh privacy uh accordion doors on both sides and uh the tv that you saw outside obviously mounts right in here on that bracket it can turn to face the sofa which is an area a lot of floor plans miss they mount their tvs flat but you never look straight at the TV. You're sitting down here. So if that TV doesn't turn, it's no good. Um, the sound bar that you see down here is, again, something like out of a nice fifth wheel, but it's Bluetooth enabled for your media needs, and it does a fantastic job. Um, up here in the bedroom, you'll notice that uh, the uh, both sides of the bed do have power outlets. 
so that you can run CPAP machines and uh, alarm clocks and all that good stuff. Uh, you have windows on both sides of the bed for ventilation. The flooring, again, reliability. They use a, a product called Dynaspan. It's basically, uh, it comes in, instead of 8-foot links, 24-foot links. So instead of like 7 or 8 floor seams in this floor plan, there is one. There is one floor seam, and it's right here where you're going to have almost no foot traffic. When you're bouncing this thing down the road, it is an earthquake in this camper and a hurricane outside. If you heard on the news 70-mile-an-hour winds, you'd be like, oh, wow, that's really bad. Well, when you're going 70 miles an hour, that's what you have. And then you hit a headwind. So this whole camper is just getting rocked the entire time. They build this thing as reliably as they possibly can. And that Dynaspan flooring is 50% stronger than plywood. And there's no boards where, like, they can't rattle and bounce up and top of one another. So you won't end up with, like, a, you know, an, an, an uneven uh, edge. My fingers aren't really conducive to that, I guess. But anyway, give us a call. Learn a little bit more. We have all kinds of offerings here, you know, not just, uh, you know, RVs to sell you, but we can service. We have hitching parts, financing, accessories, trades. We do everything. 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Happy camping.